In a small quiet cemetery lies a hero, a man whose actions saved over 700 souls the night the Titanic sank. This is about the final resting place of Arthur Rossman, commander of the RMS Carpathia, the ship that raced through icy waters to answer the distress calls of the Titanic. Join me as we uncover the story behind the headstone and the man it honours and the act that forever linked his name to the Titanic. Let's go. Now the church behind me is St James's Church in uh, West End. This is the church where Watson had his service of his burial which took place in the 4th of November uh, 1940. I'll just spin you around so you can have a look at the church. That's the church, St James's Church. And, but the, the graveyard where he was buried is further up the road. It's, it's uh, further up this way up here, about 0.3, about a quarter of a mile up the road. Um, where he was actually buried. So he had his service at this church and then up the road for his burial. So this is the graveyard um, we've just turned up to. Um, where Rostrum is, is buried in on the 4th of November at 1940, leaving that church down there after the service and obviously come up here for the burial. Um, I'll give you a little tour of this uh, graveyard. It's only a tiny little graveyard. Um, and I'll tell you just a little bit more um, about him. Arthur Rostron was born to James and Nancy Rostron in 1869 at Bank Cottage, Sharples, which is a suburb of Bolton, England. He lived as a young boy in his stone cottage on Blackburn Road in Sharples. He received his education at Bolton Grammar School and Bolton Church Institute. In 1884, Rostron then joined the Merchant Navy Cadet School Ship HMS Conway as a cadet. After two years of training on the Conway, he was apprenticed by the Waverley Line of Williamson, Milligan & Co. in Liverpool on the Iron Clipper ship Cedric the Saxon. In 1887, Wastron joined the Bark Red Gauntlet as second mate. Soon after, he left the Waverley Line and joined the Bark Campbell. He was then commissioned as sub-lieutenant in the Royal Navy Reserves on the 28th of April, 1893. In December 1894, Wastron served on board the steamship Concord, after which he passed his examination for his extra master's certificate. 14th of September, 1899, Arthur married Ethel Minnie Stother in St. John the Baptist Church, Atherton. Wasserman joined the Cunard Line in January 1895 and earned his position as fourth officer on the ocean liner RMS Umbria. As a member of the R&R, Royal Navy Reserves, Waston regularly attended training at HMS Excellent. Then he temporarily left the Cunard Line to serve with the Royal Navy during a period of international tension by the Japanese War of 1904 to 1905, after which he returned to the Cunard Line, where he was made first officer of the RMS Lusitania in 1907. He was soon transferred to the Bressica and promoted to ship's captain the day before the Lusitania's maiden voyage. The next several ships served the Mediterranean region, including his first passenger ship, RMS Pannonia, whose New York City Mediterranean route he commanded from the 1st of January 1911. He became the captain of a passenger liner, RMS Carpathia, on the 18th of January 1912. Yes, the RMS Carpathia was the ship that rescued over 700 passengers from the Titanic. We have an in-depth video about the incredible rescue coming soon, so be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it. Ostrom continued in command of the Carpathia for a further year before transferring to four other ships, including the RMS Lusitania. Ostrom was captain of RMS Lunia when the First World War broke out on the 28th of June 1914, and his ship was used as a troop carrier. In 1915, Ostrom and RMS Alunia were involved in the Gallipoli campaign in Ottoman Turkey. In 1917, he joined the Mauritania before taking command of another three ships and then back to the Mauritania again. He was promoted to captain in the RNR on the 31st of December 1918. 
Wostrom continued to command the Mauritania after it returned to normal passenger service in June 1919. He then retired from the Royal Navy Reserves in May 1924 and in July 1926 he was knighted as a Knight Commander of the Order of the British Empire. July 1926, Rostron became Commodore of the Cunard fleet. Also in 1926, Rostron moved to Southampton to take up that position. In May 1931, he became a member and later captain of the Southampton Master Mariners Club and wrote his autobiography, Home from the Sea. Jump to 1940, Rostron and his wife had been visiting their daughter Margaret in Cowan near Chippenham. When he was taken ill, he developed pneumonia and died at Cottage Hospital, Chippenham on the 4th of November 1940, aged 71. His funeral service took place at West End Parish Church, Southampton on Thursday the 7th of November 1940. He was survived by his wife, Ethel Minnie, and their four children. Ethel also died on the 7th of July 1943 at the age of 69 and is buried beside him in the graveyard of West End Church. So that was a little bit about Wastron. I'm just going to go up to his grave now. Um, I'll see it from back over there. It stands out like a sore thumb to be fair. I've seen pictures of it on the internet. Um, so we'll go up there now and have a look at his grave um, and see what's written on it. Um, it's just up here. Sorry a bit out of breath but I have been doing a lot of walking today and I'm not the fittest of guys. I've got a lot of weight to carry. Um, here we go. There's his grave. Excuse my tripod there, but... So there's his grave here. It's uh, in loving memory of my dear husband, Sir Arthur Henry Wastron, KBE. RD and RNR uh, died November the 4th 1940 age 71 also of Ethel Minnie the beloved wife of the above died July 7th 1943 age 69 years Sir Arthur, Sir Arthur Rostron captain of the Carpathia saved 706 souls from the SS Titanic 15th of April 1912 that's quite interesting because they do refer to it as the SS Titanic she's known as the SS Titanic and also the uh, RMS Titanic so SS stands for steamship and RMS stands for Royal Mail Ship. So that's his grave. I'll give you another look of his grave as we walk away. That's his grave there. It's a nice situation. They've got the nice trees there overlooking it. It's pretty much in the centre of the of the actual graveyard. Yeah, so it's pretty much in the middle. He did save 706 souls, so it's quite, an, uh, quite a feat. Um, and of course, the KBE that he, uh, that he got, which was a knighthood, so made him Sir Henry Wastron. As you've made it this far, consider subscribe, like, and do comment if there's anything you want to know. Um, I'm quite happy to research it. I do like a, a little bit of research. Um, let me know what you thought as well and uh, all that's left to be said is I bid you farewell